Oh, thank God for so much. And shout out to my man, Malcolm, with a very good question on how as the musicians can play in the world and do gigs and still do church and how come it seems like they play and show out when they do their gigs but when they go to church they quiet as a mouse you don't even know it's the same person and I tell you man it's like the Bible like Jesus say you can't serve two masters you're either gonna love one and hate the other and nothing against people playing in the club I done been there done that years ago been done with that that's why I learned and, and it's hard to do both of them and See, this is what I like to say on this, Malcolm. You got entertainers, and you got real, true praise and worshipers. The question is, which one are you? See, you can see the anointing. That's the key right there, the anointing on a musician. And, and I'm finna make some musicians mad with this. I know because there are, there are entertainers. Some people go to church just to entertain. And then the others go to church to really praise and worship God. And you might know a whole lot of musicians like this, but I do. I know a lot of them. It's easy for them to do a gig. And they seem like they're a totally different person because they can go play in front of a bunch of people they don't even know and never even met. And the show, they butt off. But when it comes to God, they can't get out front and do what they need to do for God. They come to church and they quiet because the anointing is not on them. They more of in the world. That's why I say you got church, you got church musicians, then you got clubbers. And you got musicians treating church church like a gig now. Because they rather go play at the club and give and church comes second. That's why half of them can't get to church on time and they running late. And I'm just telling the true word, I'm telling the truth. The word of God does not lie. You're gonna love one and hate the other. That's why you can't see the, I mean that's why you can see the big difference. They are not the same because they are still kind of worldly. And it's easy for them to please the people in the world than to please God. Because if you got the true anointing inside of you and, and God is God as good as God has been to all of us, no, it should come out. It shouldn't just come out in the club and at the gigs. It should come out at church every Sunday, even more. That's why people now you got some people that can fake it. Oh yeah. That's the big difference too. They can fake it. They they can look like they can go do a gig and be the same in church. And giving God all the glory. But See, you got to recognize the difference. That's why I say a true mus musician, minister of music, should know the word of God. Point blank off top. Nothing else, I'm telling you, it can't be no other way. You got to know the word of God, and you got to know what praise and worship is all about. You got some musicians just go to church, and that's it. They don't get nothing out of it. They just go get their money, and they go on about their business. They don't care about how the choir sound. They don't care about the quality, nothing. They just, this is what it is. They go do it, and you got these pastors that allow it. As long as they got somebody in their church, they rather settle for anything than have no music at all. But that's what it's done became in a lot of these churches. So that's the big difference, man. People are not anointed. Everybody's not anointed. You got people that's just doing it for the love of money, man. I'm just being honest with you. And to help you understand that, and to every other beginner musician, this is what you deal with. So as a beginner musician, I, that's why I try to let everybody know what they're going to be dealing with. It's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to it's going to discourage you and make you give up. Because everybody is not anointed. And I hate that. I hate that it's like that. Because it make, it make them seem like they can go pray. I'm not praise. They can go play in the world better. And then come to church and just give God anything. They got a whole lot of excuses. Well, it's different in the club, man. Or when I do my gig. Yeah, because it's all about you. You are entertainer. See, that's the difference. People have been entertaining so long that they are entertainer. They're not a worshiper. Because the anointing is not on their soul. It's not on their body. It's nowhere in them. That's why when people go through their changes, they'll leave clubbing alone because it's hard to do both of them. You got a, the majority of the musicians playing in clubs and they play at church. And I'm not down. That's why I say I'm not talking bad about nobody. This is just the truth. They do the clubbing and they do the church. And then the club tends to, I'm going to be real with you, the club's wrong closer because church folks are always doing them wrong anyway. But not all musicians and not all churches do people wrong. But the majority of churches, you see them treating the musicians any kind of way. That's why they keep their club gig. Because they don't want to they don't want to pay them nothing extra when they come across town or whatever they're doing. They always want to give you excuses. They don't want to give you raises. They don't want to give you appreciation. So they stay to the club. Yeah. And the point that the preacher do, they get up all the time and talk bad about the musicians playing in the club. But at the same time, look how the church do the musicians. And you, you can't blame them when they go back to the club half the time. Because half of these churches are jacked all the way up. So we're going to keep it real on both sides. You know what I'm saying? So when you see a person that's, they, they cold when they doing a the gig, they, it's all about them. Especially singers. 
they out front all the time. They can go sing in their gig. See, here's the difference, too. When you go to them gigs and sing, you don't have a whole lot of drama. You sing, you have fun, you get your money, you're going on about your business. Church folks, you got to sing and deal with church folks. Somebody don't want you to sing. Somebody got attitude. Somebody always got something up against you. They hating on you. But you got to learn how to, man, just press forward toward all that. I mean, through all of that. You got to move forward anyway. That's why I'm just being honest about this thing, man. It's, it's sad the way church down became. But that's why it's, it's so important to check out who you put in position. You don't put no anybody as a minister of music. And that's why churches are falling like they're falling. They're putting everybody in all kinds of positions and not checking them. The Bible teaches us on qualifications, on how to be. That's not being judgmental. That's not being picky. You do things in decent and order. You don't throw no anybody and name them a minister of music and name them a pastor and you wonder why the church is going like it's going. So it's easy for, that, for these musicians to go in the world and show off for the world. Because the other problem is that half of these churches, you got a dead service. You got a dead atmosphere. So, yeah, they're going to have more fun when they're in the club and, and doing their gigs. Yeah, it could be a big old party they're playing. They're going to have way more fun. Than that. Now, here's the thing. When you got a good dynamic pastor leadership in a great church, great atmosphere, see, that's what I like to be around. Because church should never be boring. Church should always be about moving forwards, not backwards. So you got those musicians that do that because they are in love with they self, first of all. And they, they so used to being an entertainer. So I'm just being real with you. They have been entertaining people so long that when it comes to entertaining God, they just be quiet and sit down on that. Because they got they, they got something they love more that they put in front of God. They more concerned about lining up their gigs than, than to stand out front and sing hard for God at church. Praise God for hard at church. See, what's on the inside got to come out on the outside. So if it's not on the inside of you, you don't have it no way. Everybody is not anointed, and that's what's wrong. The anointing is not in a lot of these musicians. And I'm talking bad. I mean, I'm talking the truth about musicians because I'm a musician myself. I'm a minister of music myself when I speak toward all musicians. That's why I say all musicians should know the word of God. If you're not, it, it don't matter how cold you are. Let me say this once again. It don't matter how good you can sing, how bad you can play that piano. It, you can, and these people are so gifted. They can, they can play their butt off, but they have no anointing, and they play for all the wrong reasons. And we see people like this all the time, all the time. Everywhere you go, you see musicians that's cold, but their attitude is bad. No stewardship, no leadership, no nothing. They terrible, and they, and they sitting in front of somebody at church as a leader. Hey, same with a pastor. So it's easy for them to go in and praise. I mean, it's easy for them to go in the world and just do what they do, and it seems like they're a totally different person. You're God Almighty. You be like, why can't you go in the world, and, and you get these gigs and play for somebody you ain't never even met, and you don't even know them, but you can give them your all, but you come in here on Sunday morning and let people, and you just give people anything, give God anything. You just sit down and don't even care. You just you in your comfort zone. See, when they're in the world, they ain't in they, they they out of their comfort zone because the world, see, the world makes it look so fun. The world have you of its own. That's why you say be in the world but not of the world. But when you in that world and you and you're having fun, then you get to a dead church service. It make you it make you want to go on. Y'all don't about your business. Excuse me. So that's the difference, bro. Malcolm, I hate to tell you it's like this, man, but this is how it is. Everybody not anointed, brother. Some people just plan to be playing, man, and, and trying to get the glory of themselves. But then you have real, true minister of music, singers, musicians that are anointed. And the anointing comes out on them every week, man. And you can tell God will show you who is fake and who's not. Because real minister of music, real musicians, they're going to have their buddy in Sunday school or Bible study. They're going to know the word of God before they even get up in front of the church and start trying to do anything about music ministry. So when you are not anointed, that's a problem. That's why it's, it's more musicians. Let me be real with this. It's more musicians that are not anointed nowadays. I'm just being honest with you. You got a lot that's anointed, but you got, it seems like more is outnumbering the musicians that are not anointed. Because the average musician got a club gig, and then they got church. And it's sad that they some of them put the club first, and then they worry about church later. They don't care about choir rehearsal and all this stuff. They show up late, and some of them don't even show up at all. I'm a witness because I always got to go play for these type of musicians. They don't never show up. But the pastors, I blame it on the pastors because if you're a real true leader, you wouldn't allow that to go on. You'll stop that mess at the front door, and God bless you.